These videos were designed and tested by skiers for skiers to increase your fitness so you can get the most out of your heli ski adventure. It is important to take five to 10 minutes or longer after your workout to cool down. This warm down is designed to target your major muscle groups. You wanna hold each stretch for 30 seconds to two minutes. You should not feel pain when you're stretching. Spinal twist. Draw your knee in towards your chest, hands on either side of your knee. Cross your leg over your body. Look over the opposite shoulder. This stretch is great for releasing the lower back and the glutes. Hip flexor stretch. Start on the floor in a lunge position. Make sure your hips are square. Bring your opposite hand up towards the ceiling and cross over your body. You wanna gradually lunge into that front leg. You should feel a stretch in the back hip flexor. Hamstring stretch. Start on the floor, one leg extended out. Your front foot, your toe should be pointed up towards the ceiling. Your butt is gonna draw back over your back heel. This is a great stretch for the hamstring. Foam rolling. Roll slowly up the calf towards the knee. Spend time on any area that feels tight. Rock the foot side to side. Avoid rolling directly under the knee. Rolling out your quad. Roll slowly from the top of the knee up to the hip. Spend time on any area that feels tight. Rolling out the IT band. Lying on your side, roll slowly from the top of the knee to the hip. Spend time on any area that feels tight. This warm down is designed to target your major muscle groups. You wanna hold each stretch for 30 seconds to two minutes. You should not feel pain when you're stretching. Adding these workouts three to four times per week to your current fitness program, you'll start to build strength, endurance, and power, all essential for heli skiing while helping you reduce the risk of injury.